everybody, this is Dana. I'm one of the massage therapists at the Springfield Wellness Center. And today we're gonna to talk about three triggers that you can do at home to help relieve a migraine. Migraines are debilitating. They can take you out for days. And we here at the center, we've got some tricks of the trade in order to help you get past that. Now, how do you know if you have a migraine? Migraines tend to be focused on one side. There's pain behind the eye, pain on the side of the head. Sometimes your head feels heavy. Now there are things that you can do to help this. Hopefully you'll be able to see how we do this and demonstrate it and you'll be able to do it for yourself. Now there's three muscles that we want to talk about. One is the sternocleidomastoid. We call it the SCM because that's a mouthful. So what you're going to do is it's the muscle that starts at the notch and it goes up behind the ear. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your knuckle with the opposite hand and your thumb and you're gonna find that and you're just gently going to pinch all the way up. Now what you're feeling for is you're feeling for a tender spot. So whenever you find a tender spot, this is when we're going to release the trigger. So what you do is you take a nice deep breath, you hang on to that tender spot. Now you're gonna go on a scale of zero to 10 in your comfort level. You wanna hit about a four, and then you just relax and let it go. You have to be patient. You want nice steady pressure, and this is how the trigger is going to release. We look for about a 50% reduction. And then once that reduces, you can continue your journey up to the back of the ear. Now this is a muscle that has caused so many problems for so many people. And it's one that's always overlooked whenever you're thinking about migraines. So let's go on to the second muscle. The second muscle is the temporalis muscle. The temporalis muscle hides here right by your jaw around to the back of your ear. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna place your little finger right in the corner of the skull, and then your index finger is gonna go right above your ear. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna gently compress. Now we're gonna relieve the trigger. Feel around, see if you can find that tender spot. I've got one right here under my little finger. So then you just do your breathing. You take a nice deep breath, get that up to a four, slowly release. Sometimes it can take a minute. Don't, you have to be patient here. Whenever it gets back down to a two, then you can just go on to the next set. So the last one that we're gonna talk about are the suboccipitals. They're located actually in the back of the head. They attach the cranium to the spine. And these are the ones that typically people tend to get the most. And they're very, very easy to relax and release. All you have to do, and most people have a sock. I know it looks a little crazy. Most people have a sock. You need a sock and a couple of tennis balls. You can also use the edge of a chair, a rolling pin. There's a bunch of different ones that you can use. You're gonna get it so that you have two little handles. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it back behind your head. Go ahead and try. And you're gonna get it right where this edge is. And you're just gonna gently pull. And whenever you feel that tenderness, that's the trigger. So that's what we wanna release. We're gonna repeat the process. We're gonna take it up to a four, nice deep breath. We're gonna breathe out. We're gonna wait for that to reduce to about 50%. And then hopefully that'll take care of a lot of the pain. So, if you have a headache or a migraine, how do you know the difference? Well, all on one side. Try these things at home. See if they can help you make it to the next day, make it to the next hour. And if you can't, if you have any questions, give us a call here because we know what to do to help you. Thanks for watching.